as it begins to emerge looks differently. Uh, this one, uh, it resembles a giant amoeba, this protoplasmic creature. It's also black in color, however, you have like a strong feeling as you look at it that from inside, uh, deathly cold seems to emanate from its form. Uh, this is a different type of ooze. You may roll. Uh, engineering. Another engineering. Alright. I'm gonna go with I probably know nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's an ooze, but. It then it's different, was but yeah. Apart from that, sadly, we, no. We need to stop role playing as Jon Snow. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Cheruk. Hmm. All right. Uh, hold on. So. Uh, sorry, just one more thing. So, seeing the new enemy popping off, zero. Do you still disable the blood rage, or do you keep it? Uh, I'll keep I'll keep it up because that would be four turns of fatigue. All right, yeah, yeah. That's why I, I wanted to say that you should hold on onto that. Okay, so yeah, sure. All right, so turn. wait. All right, so which one can I shoot? The one in front of uh, Asrak. Shoot the small one. This yeah, the small one. Yeah, because that was not going to split anymore. Well, it might split, but it's going to have low HP, so it's a good idea. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm probably gonna be right. doing splitting, but not like making smaller tokens. All right, let's count the at once. Seven. Yeah, this big one's mine. I hope you guys understand this. No, not once. All right. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's three eight. The many shot is part of the first damage as well, so they take nine damage then split. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna count uh, the fire and then split them, assuming they will be still alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's nine from the first one, and then that's eleven from the remaining. Wow. Okay. No, no, it it just be nine then then the five. The many shots will be on the first attack. Mm hmm. Yeah, so that's. Three, Nine, five, six. Six. Mm -hmm. Three, six, five. Unless the eight also hits it, I guess. Yeah, it How does. How is the eight? Oh, Three. oh shit. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, even worse than zombies in fifth edition. <laughs> okay. Mm. Wait, what? Uh, so. The AC is three. Yep, <laughs> and the. Uh, the remaining uh, puddings have two hit points each. Oof. Zixus, use cleave. Wait. I'm <laughs> sorry, this is not my rat character with greater cleave. Mm. No, spin the win. Mm hmm. Uh, the best moment I had is there was a room with like, I think, 50 ghouls. And with a character with great cleave, a weapon that did its AOE damage on every hit. Uh -huh. I, I basically de ended my turn, started my next turn by great cleaving. And my computer froze for like three seconds, everything died next turn. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, so the oozes that are barely fucking alive and they are like small. So I'm gonna say, because yeah, the ceiling situation here is like slightly different. <laughs> So again, this one also gonna take a five foot step, or five foot like shuffle, shuffle, suction, and try to hit the lunch and hit the smaller the goblin and devour him the delicious green meat. Oh dear! Oh no! Help! Nope. Me. Mm. It, it, it uh, on top of its own size. Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the one that's being grappled by Azrak will try to again regain control of the grapple. Did someone say delicious green meat? Okay, I'm. Yeah. Look at Eternal Wanderers. Yeah, 30, uh -oh. I'm pretty sure 30 controls. 
Yes. Oh no. Alright, so Constrict. <laughs> Damasio, 2d6 plus 4 plus 2d6, a seat. <laughs> okay, could have been worse. Could have been my constricts. <laughs> Which is somehow doing more damage, even though he is. Actually, wait, I think we have the same damage because I have power attack on my <laughs> constricts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're doing the same amount of damage on our constricts. And yeah, mm -hmm. the one that's uh, not being part of the grapple, it's not gonna move, it's gonna. We'll try to just hit Smack uh, Azrak one more time. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, damn it. Uh, okay, Zexus. Sure, sure. Uh, two attacks. Uh, I was like, gonna try and finish them off, but apparently not. Uh, on the, the, sm the smaller dudes. I mean, uh, the first attack went on this one? Yeah. Yeah, so the 25 hits and it dies. Mm -hmm. And the second one misses because natural yep. one, that's that's the name of the game, and that's my turn. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, zero, and then the others will see that the this entropy goes. Fucking hell, I said the name. This us will uh, begin to shuffle out. It's not faster than the other ones. Mm. And probably as it moves like that, uh, others who see, see this, uh, they can attempt their engineering checks. Oh yes, engineering. Mm. Oh. Seventeen. And one second. Right. <laughs> Old one is being slow again. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> it's an ooze. Okay, so I'm gonna count that 11 as an 8 for... I think it's a noose. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, this is Entropicus. Uh, the important thing, it, it's not splitting. It's not immune to any type of damage. <laughs> uh, for you, that's not really that dangerous, uh, but usually why this ooze is dangerous is that can devour your soul. Oof. Mm. Has a slightly higher CMD, but not by much. And can be tripped, as the previous one. Oh, and if it hits you with a slam attack, uh, apart from damage, it can energy drain you. Very rude. <coughs> yeah, you begin to wonder how the fuck this type of creature is in this place. Uh, in terms of basic stats, 126 hit points, 12 AC. So I think in your case, for most of you, again, if you roll a nat 1, then that's a miss, but well, otherwise you probably will be hitting it. Mm. Okay, so it moved. It seemed to be readying for something. And yeah, it does not have uh, reach, I think. Uh, no, it does not have reach. Okay, Azrak. Continuing the grappling uh, grudge match. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sadly, it's a noose, so can't create, but. Because of fucking 14, it had exactly 14 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> just lift it up in the air and smash it, and this green goo flies everywhere. Uh, <laughs> just rip it in twain. I win. Smash! Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> Anything else? No, it's soon to be time for round two. <laughs> right. good, good, you didn't get it uh, in my way. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. Uh, yeah. Azrak, your, uh, uh, zero, your turn. Alright, I am going to use one of my maneuvers to... Hey, come on, come on, come on, cheat. Come on. Because uh, I am going to charge, but using this... Momentum crash. This is such a rad. <laughs> I like spell level view section is zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I am still all sane. Right. I'm, so I'm the, the head, head I'm gonna say the, the, of the, the, the prepared action uh, gonna trigger, so I'm gonna resolve that first. So yeah. A uh, good thing is that uh, the attacks of this one uh, do not grapple you. It does not have like a gra mm -hmm. automatic grab thing. So as soon as like, I charge it, it just <laughs> like lunges forward and tries to smack you with its. Uh... I have a question. Can yeah, you it's use not an, a... it's, not, it's not an attack of op. It's like a prepared. Well, I'm just saying. Can I still use a reaction maneuver? Yeah. Uh, sure. In, in right, response then. to that. Just right, out of curiosity, I... because I might miss actually seeing my rolls. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I, I love it. I find it my miss rolls a 19. Mm -hmm. <laughs> only, only a natural 20 would have been better. Because. A good a yeah, So, as he attacks me, because that's definitely going to hit. So he's oh, basically so... biting back at the tentacle. So essentially, it's a counter yeah. that does not negate the attack, only gives you additional attack. Okay, so. Yeah. I'm going to mm -hmm. do the yeah, damage first on that. Yeah, he hit the damage goes first, then the attack comes. And then, uh, technically, Good, negative damage. energy drain is like DC 15. What's your fortitude plus bonus? Uh, right now, my fortitude is 16. Okay, so uh. you don't have to roll because you automatically succeed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's the counter attack first, and then I'll roll the the other one. All right. Uh, Very well. For nineteen. Nope. Oops. And then another two d6. Okay. Whoa! Nice. So, for, for another twelve. All uh, right. Now for my actual charge, which adds another ten. Mm-hmm. Now, I can, I can use bite again, right? Yeah. It's technically one. Yes. Yeah, yes. One yeah. Come on. Roll it. Oh. Roll, roll uh, one. Uh, 35, 35 damage. damage. So Jesus. 35. Nice. As this fucking choo choo, here comes the pain train, and then <laughs> like smashes into this fucking. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright, so because of that, I have now, I'm down to 17 AC for a moment. Because <laughs> of charge. Alright. Uh... Yes. Is Momentum Crash a boost then? It's yes. a strike, isn't it? I think it was a boost, I'll double check. If it's a boost, then you can't actually use Bloody Repost. Yeah, you can. Uh, you Actually, trade out wait. immediate action is fifth action next round. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I guess you can still technically do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just you can also use it as a swift action, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's your turn, Zill? Yep. That's because I know most of the charge strikes say that you don't provoke or you don't lose your AC, or you don't yeah. lose the AC or whatever. So. Yeah, momentum is a boost. Okay. Yeah, but you do, did take 17 points of damage. Yep. So give me a second. Which, I, I'm not sure if that would just be the first attack on a pounce or all of the attacks on a pounce. I think it'd just be the first. Okie dokie. Cherryuk, it's your turn. Right. So... Right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out, because pounce is a strike and momentum's a boost. I don't know if I can combine them. You can. And uh, while I... 
Uh, can ahead. you protect me from the small ooze while I pepper the big ooze in the back? I think the small ooze has like 3 HP. I think mm -hmm. you should finish the job first and then pepper the big one. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, aim. Mm -hmm. I would say hit the little guy with one shot and then use your shots on the bigger one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, use my first shot at, at the small one and the rest at the uh, uh, big one. Mm -hmm. Alright, I completely forgot that this one was alive. Technically, would have made attack of up against Isaac. Never mind, forgot about that. Yep. Yep, so that one, the last one is done, so. Mm. As it bursts into flames and its remains fall to the ground. <laughs> Splashing. <laughs> so, yeah, so the first one would have killed it, and then, okay, the. The third attack misses. Yeah, because this the Anthropicus has 12 AC. However, the second attack will hit for a total of 10 points of damage. Right. Very nice. Okay, so Black Pudding is dead. Zexos, it is your turn. Nice. <laughs> I mean, this is within 10 feet because of how the rules work, so I could go. Whoop. Mm hmm. Man, the fucking 50 feet square still trips me up every time because that's how reach works uh, every time. Anyway, mm. uh, Going to make an attack and give me a second. I need to make sure if I have anything I can use with it. Okay, and that hits for 17. Mm. Oh, so I'm at the fuck's again. Oh, Amber, what I need to do. Eh, uh, that's, that's it. Mm-hmm. Alright. <laughs> Entropic Ooze. It's mindless, so I'm not gonna bother rolling because it's gonna just attack the closest target, <laughs> which means zero. Which is a good thing because he can automatically pass the freaking energy drain. Checks. Okay, uh, plus 13 to hit. Uh, uh, you are looking for 19. Damn it! <laughs> which I. yeah, equal. Alright! So you are slammed for. and you feel the life energy being siphoned from your body a little bit. Yeah, for 15 points of damage. Turn! Axelak! All right, I am going to use my Frenzy Strike, which is going to add bonus damage to my two attacks. And there is that. And so on the first hit. Oh uh, yeah, the first attack hits for... For 16. <laughs> Then the does second 33 up, grapple it? Uh, yes, it does. Hold on. Then the for 11 points of damage, and then Constrict will. Uh, deal the the Constrict is on the first attack. Yeah, but. Yeah, I'm still. Because my, my claws stop. of grab. Yeah, still so. count, counting the damage. Yeah. Because that means that if Sorry. the second one hits, I get another Constrict. Nice. <laughs> the oh. grapples. Alright. Mm -hmm. uh, there comes Yeah, the right, damage. because normally it would have 23, but because it was grappled the first time, its CMD got lower. <laughs> yep. Alright, mm -hmm. so yeah, then 20, I would imagine, yeah, passes through, so another 16. <sighs> Looking Here comes the very, damage. very, very injured. Uh, did you add the 8 and 7 from the above? For my actual strike itself. No, hold on. Uh, it's still gonna be alive. Fucking barely, but. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes. Have fun. Four hit points left. Zillow, your turn. All right. You know what? Since I can get my maneuvers back after this fight, uh, I'm. 
I want to activate this because I want to see what kind of damage I actually can do. In before five, not once in a row. <laughs> there That's we exactly go. why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. I'm, I'm ready to add. Oh, uh, he's got the calculator ready. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Come on, sheep. Alright. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you want with or without sneak attack? Uh, uh, yeah, normally the oh, would not get sneak attack because. Yeah, I know, but know. just for adding all the damage. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yeah, so the yeah, first we're, attack we're, just kills it. We're, 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 doing, we're doing a math thing here. I'm still sad that they removed the ability to like have negative HP on the tokens. Because playing with, you know, this party and all the kind, it was very amusing. Killed the enemy more HP than it had to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> um, question: I would get my plus four. Uh, let's see strength to that then. But I'm not gonna add that into the equation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it? I would get plus four strength if he crits. Mm. Yeah. Though I don't think you would get it since it's immune to crit. So mm. either way, that's a lot of damage. This was it? And I get to add. What was it? 2d6, so that's 12. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 12d6. Mm. So additional 44 damage. 252 total. <laughs> oh, and I added, in, and then I added in the plus 2 uh, for your strength after the crits. Oh dear. After the first crit. Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so that creature was killed twice over. <laughs> Mind you, mind you, that would also include the sneak attack damage and the crit damage, so uh -huh. I, I just decided to total it all. Uh -huh. It would still be over 200, probably with, actually it'd be close to 200, but not quite with the, the uh, maybe off the sneak attack uh, and the crit. I think I have a snowball effect going on right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, as the last ooze. Uh, perishes under the onslaught of this party. Uh, it seems that right now there are no other enemies uh, nearby and as you have a moment to look around and take in what this place is, uh, Zillow, big and hard. like to you, mostly mm. to you, the, this information that, yeah, and now that you have a moment to calmly uh, investigate, inspect the location, uh, this indeed looks like the ruins of uh, laboratory that you have seen in your vision. And as you begin to look around, you see yeah, the destroyed or like run down uh, furniture, the alchemical components, uh, glass vials, and also some slightly torn uh, papers. But like, if you touch them, like, like you know turned to dust, but some maybe remains of uh, oh. books, diaries, essentially the elements that indicate, yeah, they, they give you like familiar feeling of uh, scien uh, mad scientist laboratory. Hmm, a man that are my own heart, it seems. Before I start investigating, I'm going to be smart and I'm actually going to use this on myself. <laughs> Let's see, come on, max numbers. Eh, eh better than nothing. Are, wait, we're level six, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> um. Mm, was that HP by any chance? Mm. Maybe. <laughs> uh huh. No, I mean, obviously, Azrak was fighting this fight as level 6, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, uh, my level 6 gives me a base attack bonus, some skill points, and a bump up to my saves. Mm hmm. Alright, uh, do we find anything of use? 
just mean I take the third grab. When Zixos will get to this location, something will happen, but we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, uh, Zillow, uh, before I answer that, I have a question as into your character and to you as a player, because I remember I know what's your character's main goal. Uh, mm. I need a small uh, clarification, uh, because after I found different stuff, there are like different types of immortality. So, is your research slightly potentially traitorous in nature as in you are looking how to basically disable, like make a counter for eternal template? Or are you looking for just uh, basically how to deal with other types of immortal creatures like, for example, Godspawn uh, creature, which is like this subtype of B magical, colossal magical beast that has essentially the regeneration that cannot be disabled, and it's also like the type of unkill unkillable creature. So, it's what you're aiming for? Pretty much the way I looked at it is. Uh, how Batman has the counter to all the the Justice League. That's kind of my my guy's uh, thought process. So so I'd say probably not as much as traitorous as defensive. Mm -hmm. mm. That and the and that and to say he can do it. Also, oh, I have the best HP. Max, well, max 60, HP. Sixty nine. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't looking at the HP, but uh, yeah, if you rolled below half, then you take half. Oh, nice. Then it's not 69. Oh. Yeah, so not nice. Nice, <laughs> nice dodge. It's, 70. It, it's nice plus one. <laughs> it's 69 with a thumb up your ass. Okay, that was unexpected. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Good night, everyone. We can't stop <laughs> that. <laughs> I think I'm done for the day. I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys next week. Uh huh. Okay, so I need to make a follow-up a follow-up question. Uh, does Zillow believe that he can make a counter without doing any like arcane mumble jumble? Because from what you can tell. Uh, essentially creating the Eternals as a process and them being able to still progress and advance uh, involves like a heavy dose of potent mystical uh, powers, almost bordering on divine, but uh, still came from... Like essentially I imagined when I was making like the timeline, based, the rough timeline of this setting, that Asmarius spent fucking thousands of years experimenting uh, on that. So, is, does Zill like tries to do his best to like aim for specifically like purely scientific uh, uh. like method or like some sort of arcane stuff is also... Um, pretty much to him... Nothing's off the table because, in a sense, everything can be explained through science. And if he has to use arcane to get his answer, he will use it. All right. So the mindset that he treats magic as sufficiently advanced technology, I guess, mm -hmm. something similar. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so give me a moment because. Uh, Regarding this section, Uzes ate most of the stuff, so in terms of loot, what this room had is uh, like for advancement of your personal goal. Uh, so give me a moment. <clears throat> yeah, essentially, um, I also like begin to go through the um, research papers or just like try to take in what they were actually trying to do here. <laughs> Uh, you begin to realize that uh, actually the topic of their research seems to be very uh, similar to yours. Um, specifically, mm. they were also trying to... Uh, actually, like you are not sure which one was it, but uh, seemingly either, either both they were trying to do like how to prolong one's life and how to steal life to enhance your uh, own. Uh, 
And <coughs> uh, it seems like the entropic ooze that you have fought uh, seems like like one of the main. Uh... <coughs> oh god, uh, one of the main. Uh... Venues. Uh, what's the fucking what I'm looking for? Uh, one one of the main branches of the research uh, involved uh, creatures of negative energy or like basically stuff connected with entropy as this uh, great counter to life. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and actually, this will connect to what, when Zixos was in this room, uh, he would feel something else, uh, because as you, uh, Zillow, look for your papers, you uh -huh. get a, f s uh, not suspicion, but some clues that this Entropic Ooze wasn't the only one uh, present. And when Zixos makes like a rounds around the room and, and arrives like here, he does notice uh, in this corner, in the rubble, uh, it seems to be like a, a large-ish uh, container that seems to be, like you know, in horror movies that it's not possible to like uh, see what's inside because it's like very like dirty and whatnot. Mm -hmm. The container seems to be uh, stable, still holding. Uh... And this time I won't make the same mistake, uh, and we'll just get to that in just one moment. Uh, this po there's also a potential for uh, bonus uh, encounter, but again, as with the Dread Kurobozu, aka Black Punk, <laughs> this creature is definitely much higher CR than you guys. Uh -huh. And actually, uh, Maybe to see uh, if actually Zero will find uh, additional clues what they might have held here, or what they m what might be still present here. Uh, you can roll probably perception for finding clues, and then uh, knowledge to engineering. Right. But first, the uh, perception. There is a scroll fast, too fast. All right. Uh... Okay, so it's it's gonna be up to you as a science man if Zill uh, heard the name of the substance. Does the uh, dark matter will mean anything to Zillow? It's and it's basically mm. entirely up to you, sinful. What's what's your take on that? Uh, I would say I probably saw it in the notes, and I have an idea, but I don't fully grasp it yet until I read all the notes. <laughs> all right. Yeah, and because perception was okay, uh, you may uh, roll knowledge engineering. Come on, two. And actually, I mean, do you like uh, share your findings? <laughs> yep. Okay, then others may also attempt. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Chirik is just wondering, how can I use this in my crafting oh dear probably not because it's too corrosive because if you use it on any kind of armor weapon it would just dissolve said item uh -huh. <laughs> So, uh, what do I say? Cherok, I've made this brilliant new armor polisher. One one use of it and the armor is clean as it's ever been. Um, <laughs> it makes the armor invisible. Mm-hmm. 
And hey, Sherlock asks, hey, do you want hey, to Yeah, I'm holding it in this special canister. Whoops, drops it. Sherlock <laughs> uh, asks, do you want to melt the ground? Do you want to make dungeoning checks? I have. Oh, sorry. So, well, uh, that would be me. Six or seven, hmm. Azrak. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. God damn. Alas, such is life. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, See, so. I'll tell you guys this. So oh, well. I sadly I cannot like reveal more of the creature's abilities, but yeah, above the board information. This is very dangerous uh, encounter. Like discounting your uh, immortality and what that in terms of stats, uh, this is like a very dangerous encounter. I won't say directly, but in terms of brackets, this creature is uh, CR10 plus. Okay. I'm not saying it's CR10. I'm saying it might be that or higher. Sounds like CR11 to me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> CR14. And yeah, you as, want to risk it for a biscuit. As you are like going through the notes, uh, then yeah, it it also doesn't really give more information about the creature. But whoever was doing research here, it it suggested that they were beginning to base their entire research around this particular being, believing that its abilities and its like shared destructive potential can be crystallized into something capable of suppressing. Uh, or like basically powering through uh, forms of immortality. Mm. Uh, that sounds like a bad thing to face unprepared. Um, well, as, as a scientist, I, I can't say not to do it, uh, but I would be smart enough to say, I right, let's prepare before we start said fight with all our buffs. Yeah, let's maybe see what's at the end of the corridor, and you know, so we don't get stabbed in the back while getting murdered. Oh, um, dude, I have the black mom girl, so we can just hide it over there. <laughs> and then duke it out and then collect the XP afterwards. Um, exactly. It's an idea. Mm -hmm. Fight my minions for my entertainment. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Matt would have been perfectly happy with that. Um, I'm doing uh, Shrug. <laughs> it is a viable tactic. The enemy mm. of my enemy is my friend. It's also my enemy. That currently is killing other enemies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Ev uh, true, in short, everybody's an enemy. Well, maybe not the friend of my enemy. That's my friend. Um... The enemy of my enemy also hates my enemy. Uh, anyway. What do you do? Uh, now is it in a, like a... You said it's in a vial or a what? Yeah, essentially... Uh, this is like a rubble and throughout the rubble, like beneath it, you can see like this glass like... Uh, basically glass wall. Like this, like this is like a very big uh, vial of sorts, like a, a aquarium container uh, that seems to be sturdy enough. <laughs> Damn, but... I was gonna say, if it's like a vial, let's just take it and throw it at someone. <laughs> that's that's what my plan was. Well, technically, I could make myself big, grab it, and just throw it at whatever we want. Because we already established what my, uh, my lift mm. weight is. So let me give above it's the than that. above the ground information when you like went to like move it at all you would see that there are like at first the the the, the smaller cracks would not have been visible uh, throughout the dirt and whatnot but basically any sort of like interaction with this uh, particular item would have begun the encounter would will wow. begin the encounter mm -hmm. oh dear yeah i would say come back is probably my character would be the one that would notice yeah, let's let's finish this as we head back to the corridor. Mm -hmm. I will be back, my specimen. Mm -hmm. I will be back. <laughs> yeah, I decided uh, this uh, case. I will remember. I say I'm gonna say above the ground that yeah, this is dangerous optional encounter. Yeah, you, you say I... that, but look at our group so far. 
to be fair, the last one we were there were a lot of nat 20s on our side, and I'm very happy for it because it was a good time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, join us, Astrak, as we go seeking glory. <laughs> you mean stop looking at XKCD memes? Oops. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god. Oh, glory. done. As right. you. We'll be arriving yep. at this point. Actually, right, we're just... maybe like at this point. Right, we're just waiting on Cherry <laughs> to join us. Something will happen. Oh no, I'm uh, good over here. Okay. I got a good range. <laughs> I got a hundred, 110 feet range, so... Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting Zixus is uh, glowing. Well, I'm not glowing anymore, but you know. Oh. Uh -huh. I just switched back to lightning, so I'm... Oh, so I need to like... Uh... No, you are. Oh, so if if you are not going for now, so I'm gonna disable that on your token. Mm -hmm. I mean, if somebody knows the light spell, I wouldn't mind having it cast on me, but I'm not glowing right now. Mm -hmm. It's it's a, it... just spritzing and try to do uh, what the gif is. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, nice grab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, that looks like how do I say a grapple at them that fails but kills it by the damage anyway. Um... Okay, so as we are beginning to approach, basically run down towards this corridor, the doors in front of you, before there's this gust of uh, unseen wind from nowhere, like there pushes them open. You see that uh, they are covered with slightly like twitching. Uh, dead shadowy faces that are like basically the, like this uh, tapestry painted across the uh, entire uh, entire door and then as it opens you will see and let me give you the handout for the full picture this fucker which he's not armored uh, his visage is slightly uh, covered and instead of an arm like a large portion of its body is just a mass <laughs> of uh, swirling uh, shadows and despite the fact that on its main body you do not see at the first glance uh... wait do you even see it? yeah you should we see, see it. It. Uh, at the first glance you do not see like a rot uh, you get a strong gut feeling that this is undead. So first things first, you may roll me knowledge region. Oh no, Azanaka never made it to the sun. <laughs> I must go, my people need me. I must go, my people need me. Uh, da, da, da. <sighs> oh, not, not that one. Uh, mm. I'm hitting, I'm hitting things that ain't going to throw. Mm-hmm. What do you get when you pour root beer into a square glass? Uh, the root of a root beer? No, you just get beer. Oh god. It took a second, it clicked. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's fine, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! <laughs> okay, <then> that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was more... That's a that's a good gif. Fucking hell. Okay, I gotta see this. All right. So uh, this particular being in front of you, this humanoid, has long since abandoned his mortality, and is it is undead. Specifically, it has nightshade subtype. Oh. What does a nightshade subtype do? So, 
Uh, it has several things. Uh, not gonna put aura on him because the bonus is already included, but in this entire uh, chamber, that is like a... Fuck, what's the word? Crypt? The mm -hmm. resting, this resting place? It feels just wrong, uh, like corrupted. Uh, each shadow seems to like have teeth. Uh, but yeah, for the nightshade itself, uh, oh, yeah. the most important thing is that considering this is like darkness, he has yeah a lot of vision. Uh, however, one of the main uh, weaknesses this creature has, it has light aversion. If there's bright light, he becomes sickened. No other words. Shine, little goblin, shine! <laughs> so, shoot him with the power of the sun. Not like I can shine. Uh, <laughs> Rip plus 4 AC, but still. Mm hmm. And just give me a moment. <clears throat> yeah. So as it. <coughs> yeah. The doors blow. He's warped, deranged. But also somewhat uh, boisterous uh, voice uh, echoes throughout the corridors. Well, 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 finally some worthy opponents have ventured into my domain. Or are they really worthy or are they just like weak as everyone else, as everyone else that I have killed? <laughs> Uh, come hey. there, mortals! Let's test test your flesh and prowess. Hey, I'm not thinking what you said. Uh, I mean, worthy, not not worthy. Uh, anyway, I think we're gonna kill you. <laughs> Let's go. Let's All roll right. that initiative. Uh, roll initiative. A part of me thought in the back of my head of the scene from Jazam where the evil guys try to give a speech and Charik's back there going, What's he saying? Yeah, or other. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, certain things will be happening. Oh, yeah. Uh, for one, he's gonna be acting two times, and two, uh, he doesn't have to roll for initiative. What? Wow. Cheater. It's a third party is... thing, but I mean, uh, essentially I mean, this, this place, this place, as in that he's extremely uh, quick and fast. Uh, partially from his experience when he was still alive, alive as a samurai. Ooh. Specifically, a legendary samurai. Legendary uh, samurai, Jack. <laughs> Everyone rolled. Everyone oh, he has, rolled. He, oh, he has mythic uh, initiative. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing I would suggest is Azarak and Zixis switch spots so I can. Because I was going to delay it there. Zach's character, anyway. Yeah, might need some light in there. <laughs> Okay, uh, before proper combat starts, uh, instead of doing a massive uh, information dump, here's how we're gonna do the uh, information. Uh, uh, you can, you get one knowledge check as a free action per turn. Uh, DC 15, and then if you pass it, then you get to ask me a single question. Did you want religion? Uh, yeah. And before combat starts, each one of you gets like a one. <sighs> nope. And yeah, for the purposes of identifying things, uh, the aiding doesn't uh, work in here. Okay, Azrak, what you would want to know? Essentially, you can ask about different things, like it's meta information, it's HP, uh, AC, uh, special abilities, if it, if it, uh. if it has any, like... Whatever comes to your mind. Heads of stuff, AC, CMD, flat footed touch, that kind of stuff. Okay, so with twenty, I'm gonna give. I can give you two. So. 
I'll do AC and CMD. All right, uh, AC. It starts with twenty. Uh, however, already a hint that as the fight will progress, it actually has something that makes that his AC will be getting lower. But that's not something else. And regarding its CMD, uh, it starts with twenty. And again, it has something else that, uh, as the fight will go on, it actually will be getting higher. Sure. But that's only one custom thing. Oh, everything else is like base from the on, from the game. All right. All right. Uh, so what he will do? <clears throat> okay. So absolutely without any issue, he will. Uh, as there are no, uh, yeah, he takes like a ghost, like basically somersault over the uh, this particular. Uh, oh my god! Sarcophagus. Uh, this this sarcophagus, sarcophagus, and goes like that. <clears throat> basically, if he could, he would like essentially be t posing uh, all the way, and then. <laughs> And then you see him as he's like bursting with this corrupted, uh, undead uh, spiritual prowess that once he had as a uh, noble uh, samurai. There's this familiar click as he uh, b slightly unsheaths his uh, katana, and then yeah. without getting closer, yeah. He does like slash through the air, and then you can feel the unseen power, the air pressure, just like moving towards. And let's see which target he will focus on. Okay, so it, so he doesn't have a twenty foot katana on him. Uh, what? That, why wouldn't he have a twenty foot katana on him? <laughs> no, it's actually uh, basically the summer, I think. Yeah, jutsu strike, uh, one of the. Mm -hmm. Uh, types of the strike. So yes, yes. Let's see. He will whom he will try to hit actually, because he has he has three targets. Mm -hmm. uh, Zixus, you know, has a one, katana on him. One mm -hmm. zero two Azrak three Zixus. Zixus, it is. It is. <laughs> What's that Finally, to hit? a worthy opponent. Our <laughs> battle will be legendary. And then <laughs> yeah, with a range that... cut, he will gonna go for this. Sure. Sixes parries the air, air blade out of the air, causing it to like dig into the, the walls. <laughs> uh, how do I say? My master fought many, many lesser opponents than you. I'm sure I will be your match. <laughs> you will regret those words, foolish creature. I will cut you down, all down. <laughs> And then that costed him. <laughs> Actually, hold on, because. Uh, uh, fucking hell, the Ajutsu strike! Yeah, that costs once <coughs> period, I'm pretty sure. Alright. And yeah, actually, that's that's his turn. Uh, Zil. Alright, I am going to use my Pounce and Momentum Charge and put on Blood Rage. As pretty much our character is like, I have no time for this. I have more pressing matters. <laughs> come, on, come on, cheat. You can do it, cheat. I got faith in you. Now, do we establish that the plus 10 only goes on the first attack or just the whole thing? Only on the first attack. There is enough <laughs> ruling to say that you could go on all attack, but let's not be silly, okay? Um, That's what I wanted to make sure. Mm -hmm. Alright. Come on. Come on, Tex. Come on, update sheet. You can do a sheet. <laughs> Uh, it's bad I've talked to my sheet like the damn uh, pet. Mm hmm. Probably listens to you just as much <laughs> as a pet does, to be honest. Um, uh, there it goes. That's how I know where it's actually worked because it goes from 12 to 15. Mm -hmm. Alright. Cost. Must be surprisingly enough. Okay. Mm hmm. Alright. So, yeah. 
All right. So that is 29. Uh, okay, 29 points of damage. Next one. Eighteen. Yep, yeah, that, that also hits. Uh, Twenty-five. That. Hold on. Uh, yep. Ooh, I get plus four strength now. Hold on, hold on. Uh, before we get to that crit, so twenty-five. So that's twenty. <clears throat> and before we get to that crit, I need to remind myself what the uncanny dodge does. That's just not flanked, right? Okay, so it doesn't involve anything about criticals. Yeah, unless it's something else. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I'll just, I'll let's just base add. uncanny dodge. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I'll yep. just add balls, balls yep, so that, one. that confirms a crit. So from that crit, so that's 20, 38 or more. I got one more. I just had to. So f add from my that bonus. from that gore crit, he takes thirty eight points of damage. Yes. <laughs> yep. All right. And actually, uh, mm, no, not yet. Actually, no, he does. Uh, so he visibly becomes uh, enraged. Enraged. <laughs> so it actually will be. Because you have identified his AC, so now I'm gonna say that his uh, AC is uh, 18. Oh my god, uh, what the fuck. Uh, however, his CMD uh, is 25. Uh, Alright. You just had to make it harder for me. Sorry. I have plus 16 but to my grapple. I could have grappled and pinned him. <laughs> I probably still can, honestly. Uh, let me know when you're ready for the last one. Okay, 20. That still hits for 15. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, and 22 for 14. <coughs> and that is finally I am done. Uh, as a free action, you get like a Three knowledge check to try to figure out, identify one of the things on him. Right, to, ask we'll me a single, to ask me a single question about the enemy. <laughs> Basic DC 15. Yeah, and knowing my character, I'll probably go get. Because this is like a very boisterous <laughs> enemy, so it's technically not that super hard to identify yeah, some so, of the things he does. So I need the roll of 15. Yep, and it's a free action, so. So I actually need to roll 50 because I oh, okay. have uh, a negative one. Alright. <laughs> and... Okie dokie. Uh, success. Sure. Our battle will be legendary. <laughs> you sound so deflated. <laughs> I'll be tired, okay. Um... Uh, I can't get any more than that. Make an attack of opportunity against me. Uh, <laughs> if you wish. He will definitely do. And let me. Give me a moment because. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, excellent. Okay, so. He will use a thing that allows him to use attack of op. Okay, never mind. You did, did, okay, so he will try to make that. Mm -hmm. uh, with. A, he'll probably miss. Sure. But now he's in range, so he gets that much, not plus 10. We're looking for 28. Because I have combat mobility, so I have plus 4 when moving through attacks of opportunities. Hello, but no cigar. Mm -hmm. That would have uh, hit me you, without that. Did mm -hmm. you mean to move there or one higher for flanking? I can't get all the way there, so I'm going to move here and attack. And if you want to go into the alcove in your turn, that's up to you. Uh, uh -huh. Figure to ask. Yeah, makes sense. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, I'm going to invoke the minute hand as success strikes twice. The second one at minus two, so 20 versus AC. Mm hmm. Uh, yep, yeah, 20 will hit. He will mm -hmm. not use a counter against that. 
Sure. That's my turn. And BRB. So 16 points of damage. Yes, and I switch stances, so Sixus now glows like a torch for our archer. That's my turn. Hold on. Hmm? Just one second, because I'm Rema. I might actually decide to try to counter that. Up to you. Uh... Uh, nah, it's not a crit, so... Okay, so that's 16 yep. points of damage. Yes, BRB. <coughs> Alright, uh, Azurak. I'll move up there and use my uh, Flurry Strike Strike. Or Frenzy Strike Strike. And, uh, this is just the first two attacks on this. So they're just the 26. Uh, so that would be... He will attempt to counter that. For 23. And that's a mess. Ooh. Yeah, but still, uh, because that would be twenty-three points of damage total. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, he he will try to. Essentially, as the shadows begin to like, trying to look like uh, scary, he will uh, use a uh, counter. As a swift action. I still think my favorite counter is the one. Uh, my, my favorite counters are all the veiled mood ones, honestly. <laughs> he didn't use it. I know. He didn't use the swift action. So let's see. Intimidate against your attack roll. Uh, don't forget your religion checks, too. Intimidate plus 15. I don't care, but okay. I mean, you don't have to. Ah, but. Yeah, you have faced uh, more dangerous things than him. Uh, so I faced more dangerous things than him in this dungeon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Essentially, yeah, the bonus encounters were have more CR than him. However, he definitely had like uh, out of the all the creatures. Yes, the, he still started with a higher amount of uh, hit points. Okay, so that strike still went through for twenty three or thirty. 23, right? Because you added additional bonus damage. Right, yeah. 10, 10, 10, 10, right, 23. Alright, uh, and yeah, with that, yeah, you get to, yeah, ask about two things. Uh, I passed the ball to Az, you can ask. Uh, uh, you already know we'll his ac and CMD. Uh, I'll go with special abilities. So I'm kind of wondering what the the one red circle means. <laughs> ah, red circle. Okay. Uh, so as a special like custom made, so he only has one thing. Everything else is uh, in regards to his like either first or third party stuff. Uh, so the thing that he has, that red circle, connects to the lower lower AC and higher stat. Uh, yes, uh, some higher other stats. It's enraged. <laughs> hmm. Alright, uh... And also, I, guess. I didn't write it down, but now that I think about it, it makes a lot of sense that also, when he he's, when he's gonna get to that 44 hit points, uh, he will uh, also automatically start his round with every every maneuver. So he will basically get like his maneuver box for free. Hmm. Uh -huh. Interesting. Uh... So that's one thing, and then there's also like, you know, second thing, you can ask about second thing. I don't gonna pass that to Zip. Because I'm out of ideas. <laughs> sure, sure. Special, uh, special defenses or weaknesses? Mm-hmm. Uh, actually... <clears throat> apart from what you know what the Nightshade does, meaning the, <clears throat> you know, weaknesses like Lysurversion, he does not have any 
like special, you know, defense and whatnot. I mean, if you count the fact that he starts taking only like you know one point of damage per hit uh, when he gets completely enraged, that kind of counts. But other than that, uh, I don't believe so. Sure, sure. I'm, I'm looking um... at this, but I mean, it won't make it won't matter in this particular combat. But he also had like you know additional feats in terms of moving through uh, the difficult terrain. So stuff like, you know, nimble moves, acrobatic steps, mm -hmm. um, and whatnot. Right. And should, I remember, he should be sucking right now, right? Because Zixis is glowing. I am glowing, but it's like a torch, so... Mm-hmm. So, hold on, I need to, like, edit your tokens. Oh, you, so. you want... You want glowing? <clears throat> so, so, I need to know, like... I am glowing. Does, so, I mm -hmm. guess, torch gives, like... 20 feet or 30 feet of bright light? Good question, I'm not entirely sure. Torch, light... Light, pathfinder. 